Are you on board with this bull market in stocks? Hello fellow traders everywhere. Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club with your weekend update for the trading week ending 127. Well, look at we're looking at the S&P 500 and as you can see it closed in a doji line which meant that these were in equilibrium between the buyers and the sellers. However, the Donchian trading channel is beginning to turn up which is a positive sign. We do have our monthly trade triangle in at 1292. I would suspect this market is going to pretty much stay in a consolidation phase over the 113 level. We're up almost 1% for the week, not a lot, but it's certainly certainly on a positive note and I think we'll see this market improve in the months ahead. Let's go to our next market. Next market is the silver market. Silver actually put in a very good performance. It closed up 1.72% for the week. Uh, if I'm right, uh, the S it's actually it's 5.36%, I beg your pardon. And it looks as though it wants to do better. And uh, however, it needs to move over this level here, which is around the 3570 level. If it does that, then I think we're on our way to much higher levels. But for the time being, this is going to be a major resistance level, as is the center of the Donchian trade channel. We are basically in an overbought condition. Uh, not to say it can't be overbought longer, but uh, generally speaking, that indicates we may be running into a little bit of resistance. But this is a weekly chart. We're looking at silver, spot silver. And now we're going to look at spot gold. Spot gold put in a very good performance last week. Closed up 4.34%, pretty on its best week. It's been up for the last four weeks in a row. Is that going to be enough? Maybe. But however, it's going to run into resistance right around these levels right here, around the 1750 to 18 level. I don't think we'll just overcome that very easily. A long-term trade triangle, much like it was on the silver market, it's still negative and the only the weekly and the daily are up, indicating some sort of a conflict at the moment. It's not clear sailing. Also, we have an overbought situation, much like we had back here in September and August. Not to say it can't go higher, but that's the reality of the situation. You have not turned up in your MACD, which means that's still a negative in my mind. Uh, it looks as though it's flattening out, trying to turn up, but it hasn't turned up quite yet. So let's see how that plays out. This is the copper market, which has actually made a turn. All of our signals are positive, plus 90 strong upward trend. You can see our monthly signal right here at 376. Market's at 388 right now. Looks as though it wants to go up towards the top of the channel around the 400 to 4 four dollar to 420 level. That's what we're looking for in this market. Usually copper is a sign of economic recovery, and that's certainly the case here. We're actually looking up 4.14% for the week, so it really did perform very, very well, close to what gold did, and I think that's something to definitely pay attention to. I think this market can and will go higher. So let's go to our next market. This is crude oil. Now crude oil, while it has a 55 score, indicating a trading range, it did actually close higher for the week. It was up 1.18% for the week. And I think that's a good sign. And uh, just one second. Yep, 1.18% for the week. And it looks as though it wants to do better. Longer term, we are still positive on crude oil. However, it needs to move over this 104 level. We've been talking about that for some time. We may be in a situation where we continue to consolidate, but it needs to start moving up. You can see the market's neither overbought or oversold, sort of midpoint, and we are in a positive mode in the MACD, but it's beginning to lose upward momentum. It needs to turn up pretty soon, but I suspect it will turn up in the next week or so. The Mideast, of course, is a powder keg. What can happen there? Anything can happen, of course. So let's see how that plays out. Next market we're going to be taking a look at is going to be the Euro. Euro put in a very strong upward move last week. We actually closed up, I think it was, well, we can tell you right away, it's closed up 2.29%, which is a huge move in the Forex markets. And I think that's the uh, thing we want to look at right now. So looks as though we are going to see the market do better. 132.25 is the, the level we're looking at. Um, it is mixed, however, the monthlies down and the weeklies, both the weekly and the daily are up. So you do have that conflict. We're probably a little bit, no, we're not overbought yet. 
and we're still under the MACD. So it's still a question mark. I think really this coming week could be a reversal week or a top in the dollar because the dollar continues to, excuse me, a top in the euro for the dollar to improve. But generally speaking, it looks as though this market has turned around or is making a turn. And look at the doji line right at the bottom here. So something always to be con continue to look at are the doji lines. They're very important as they do sometimes represent reversals, particularly if they follow the next week like this one, indicating a positive week. You see how it went up from there and here also. So let's see how that plays out. Next market we're looking at is going to be actually the dollar index. And look at the doji line at the top, very similar to the euro. And the, that was confirmed this week. This is a negative engulfing line, a very, let me just put my telestrator on here just to ex explain this point. The week we had here uh, was above and, I'll just draw that as above and below. So it engulfed this entire previous week. This is this was called a doji. And this is a, a negative engulfing line, a bearish engulfing line, some people call it. It was confirmed with the close down this week. This market actually closed down 1.64% for the week, which was not its best week uh, at all. So I think that's what we have to look at. It would look as though you've also broken a trend line from here. I'm just going to draw that like that. And it would look as though we can come down a little further. I would look for, and you know, let's just scope this out, put our Fibonacci number on here, because this is the dollar is a big equation here where the stock's going higher and everything else. So let's just put our Fibonacci number on here. We're going to click right here, drag this down to the lows. So we could be seeing market going down to 7738, which is a 61.8% retracement, and still be in a positive mode. So let's see how that plays out. But the way this market closed, it would look as though it'll be under pressure on Monday, and maybe some uh, Greek settlement, some understanding there. We'll have to see how that plays out. Let's go to our next market. This is one that's particularly interesting because this, to us, represents a change in the overall inflation picture. And while we have a plus 60 indicating a trading range, it does seem to me that a couple of things that I want to watch very, very carefully this week. One is, I think, I'm going to put my Telestrator on. And this is going to be a really a big one in my mind. So we're looking at the potential, let me just take this off. We're looking at the potential double bottom right here. Okay, that's the one scenario. We did have a head and shoulders here on a much, on a daily basis. But the big point here is going to be the 325 area. If we go over 325, it indicates that inflation is fully blown and we're probably going to see this market go up somewhere in the region of around the 355, right around these levels right here, 350, 355. And that takes us back to levels we saw back here. Uh, if I scope this out even further, you'll get an idea. But let me just take that off the screen so we don't mess things up here. So let's just uh, go back a little further in this thing. You can see getting back to the 355, you're up towards these levels here. So that's going to be our target zone once we go over the 325, indicating inflation has come back. So we'll have to pay close attention to that. But the market was up 2.47% for the week. Uh, obviously, uh, it's, we, we're looking for this market to be mixed to higher next week. When you see a plus 60, it means we're in a trading range. However, the plus tends to indicate that it's a trading range with a bias to the upside. So let's see how that plays out. Hey, this is Adam Hewison. It's the weekend. I hope you had a great uh, trading month. We're almost we're at the end of the month next week. And we've had a good month here at Market Club, and I'm sure you have if you've been following our recommendations and some of the plays we've been looking at, especially with some of the stock plays we mention every day in our updates there. So have a great weekend. Let's have a great trading week next week, and uh, enjoy. I'll see you next week.